Hi students, we're back again looking at Sumerian irrigation systems today. Hopefully you've already made a copy of the file that I shared with you in the quest and we're going to use that Google Draw file to go ahead and create our own diagram of a Sumerian irrigation system. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, here I've just taken two giant squares um, and whoops, I have my blue square here in the back and a green square on about two thirds of the page. Um, and I just stretched it to cover this um, transparent background that exists. And then I have created a little mountain range over here with different sized mountains to indicate that it's a range and not just one mountain. And from that point, I'm pretty much ready to go. One thing to notice is that the shapes that I've created, they usually come with this outline around them. And to get rid of that outline, you click on it and go to this pencil, which is the outline of the shape, and then click transparent. So that's how I was able to get this green circle, or sorry, this green square and this blue square without any outline whatsoever. So all irrigation begins in the mountains because the mountains have snow and the snow melts and as it runs down the mountain, it gathers together and forms a river. So I have my mountain range over here. I'm going to go ahead and select the scribble line and I'm going to start that river right here and then draw it out to the edge of the page and then stop. All right, that's not a straight line and that is totally okay because rivers are not straight lines either. We're going to increase the line weight to 24 PX, so it's very thick. And then we're going to turn that line blue. So let's see, line color should be blue. That's maybe too bright of a blue. There we go, all right. So now at this end, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch it back to the arrow. At this end, I want to extend the river, and then I want to bring this triangle up to the front so that it can hide the end of the river. So I'm going to click on the Alt key and then go to Order, Bring to Front. There we go. I'm going to adjust the size here. And now it looks like that river is coming out from between the mountains. Perfect. All right, so the way irrigation systems work is, I'm going to grab another scribble line. Um, Sumerians would dig canals off of the rivers, something kind of like this. And then they would bring that canal back out to the river. So I'm going to make the line weight on that 16 px actually maybe 12. There we go, 12 px and I'm going to match it to the color of the river. Now the reason that Sumerians would dig the canal is so that they can bring water out into the field for their crops. So that's why the field here is green instead of tan or beige or whatever color sand would be. It's because the field's being irrigated. So we have this um, canal and the flow of water into the canal was controlled by a gate. So I'm going to make a little gate and I'm going to turn it brown and then I'm going to turn it sideways. I'm going to use those arrow keys to kind of help me locate it. Perfect. And so Sumerians would open and close this gate depending on whether they needed to let water into the canal or keep water out so that the seeds didn't get flooded. So we have a gate at this end, and then I'm just going to copy and paste this and position it over here for the closing gate. All right, so now I need another scribble line. And from this canal, there were branch canals that extended out. So I'm going to make this about 8px and again blue. And then I can actually take that line and copy it and paste it or over here. And another one maybe over here. 
and I'll tilt it a little bit so that it's kind of going off in this direction. And then I'll grab one more and bring it over here. And again, tilt this one a little bit so that it's heading in that direction. All right, and then I'm going to want to extend this line all the way to the bottom of the page. Oh, perfect. This is looking good. Okay, so the next thing that I should be doing is labeling parts. I'm going to take this text box and put a label here. Canal. And I really like things centered and neat, so I'm going to go ahead and center it. Canal. Then I'm going to copy and paste the same text box and drag it over here and put the label gate, which is right here next to this little piece. I'm going to copy and paste that same label and put it over here next to this other gate. Then I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to label this that says branch canal. And branch should not be capitalized, so I'll take away that capital B. And I'm going to turn it sideways so that I can position it right along the canal itself. And then I'm going to copy and paste that. And then I'm going to copy and paste it again and turn it the other way. Oops, a little too far. I'm going to bring this over here. And then one more copy paste. And this canal label will be situated over here. All right, perfect. Whoops. I want to make sure everything is readable. There we go. Perfect. Um, and then coming off of the branch canals, there's also feeder canals. So it gets even smaller and more complicated. The feeder canal should be the same color and this time 8px. And then we copy and paste that. Whoops. If you make a mistake, that's fine. It's all fixable. It's Google Drive. Okay. And then I can copy and paste. Now, these feeder canals also bring water out into the field. So the great thing about the Sumerian irrigation system is that you could take an entire desert area and actually make it good for farming. Um, because the soil was already great. That's the whole point of Mesopotamia is that it's land between two rivers and the soil is very fertile and good for growing crops. But any plant that grows needs water and that's where the irrigation system comes in to help spread the river water into more land that can be used for farming. So after you get done putting some of these feeder canals around, and again, the point of all this canal system is just to maximize the amount of water that's making it into the field. We're going to label just a few of those branch canals, or sorry, feeder canals. So I'm going to put my label over here, feeder canals, and that should not be capitalized, so I'm going to fix that. And then I'm going to use a scribble line just to put some arrows in there. So this is a feeder canal. And then maybe this one. And then I could even go across. There we go. So each one of those arrows, just to make them very clear, I think I'm going to turn them red. And increase the line weight to 4px. There we go. So red and 4px. And again, red and 4px. All right, so this is essentially um, what it would look like to have your irrigation system. And actually, oh, I thought I downloaded a great picture that could, could help with that. I guess I didn't. 
Okay, so this is pretty easy. Hopefully um, you're learning the parts of the irrigation system as you make your copy. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to Google things. So Sumerian irrigation system are some great keywords that you can Google to look at images of how other artists have depicted Sumerian irrigation. Um, so if you have any questions, make sure you ask in class. Otherwise, have fun with your Google Draw project. All right. Thanks, guys.